Hello everyone, this is Shavnak, your AI ML consultant. So this is the fourth video that I'll be making regarding Fast API. And this video will wrap up the introductory uh, playlist for Fast API, using which you will be able to create your own get, post, put and delete operations. And also use data validation. And if you follow this video, you'll know how to use your own status codes and also raise your own HTTP exceptions. So let's get right to it. Uh, this code that you are able to see right now, this code is exactly the same that we have executed in the previous video. So to keep it simple, let me just remove all the code and I'll just keep the database. So let's begin. So first I'll import from fast API import fast api then we will instantiate fast api and first let us create a get method so in this particular function what we will do is we will pass in the parameter of movie id and based upon that we will get the movie description movie name description and rating so parameter will be movie id which will be an integer and this will return database movie id and let me quickly wrap it in this decorator app dot get because this is a get request let me reload the server come back to our swagger ui and sure enough we have this get request so try it out if i type the movie id as 5 we are getting avengers 2 as per our database over here but what if i enter 6 and execute we are getting internal server error so this is 500 internal server error but ideally it should be 404 item not found error because we don't have item number 6 key value 6 in our database so for that purpose what we will do we will import from fast api we will import status followed by http exception it is as simple as that in just one line of code so first let us try this and if this fails accept if this fails raise http exception and here in http http exception the status code will be 404 and detail will be item not found let me save this and come back to our swagger ui refresh and let's try it out 6 execute and if you see over here we have received status code of 404 error not found and in detail it is writing item not found the same detail that we have mentioned it over here one more thing that you can do instead of typing 404 if you do not know the code you can type status dot http and here if you see you are getting this full list of http codes so http 4 is for uh, data not found or any error that you will encounter so 404 not found let us select this and if i save this again if i restart the server and if I pass in movie id 6 and execute, I'll be getting the same thing 404 not found, item not found. So this is how you can uh, raise exception in fast API, very simple. You just, you just have to import this HTTP exception and in that pass the status code and then the detail that you want to show the user. Now one more thing. Let's say if you want to create a post method and at the rate app dot post the path for post and 
then def create movie and here you will take name string description which is also a string and rating which is an integer and you will create an object name will be the key and it will take name as the key then description DSC and rating. rating and then key will be length of database plus one and let us add this to our database not the key this it is a variable key is a variable and object and return message movie added and if I save this and if I execute it in our swagger UI the post request try it out movie I'll type it as new movie then description sample description and rating let's give it 8 and execute it so we have received status code of 200 and response body message of movie added but status to status code 200 is just that the api call was made successfully and whenever we are creating something some data using the post request we would want status code to be 201 so how to make that change so come back to our at the rate app dot post here after you mention the path you type comma status code and here you have to write status dot HTTP underscore so for successful calls uh, you are in the 200 plus series 200 to 200 plus so if you see here 201 is for created 207 multi status 200 is okay 200 to accepted and so on so we will select 201 for demonstration purpose save this restart the server and refresh the swagger UI and we are in the post request again try it out the movie let's say Thor description Norse God and rating let's give it 8 and execute and so if you see over here the status code has changed to 201 earlier it was 200 now it is 201 so this is how you can use your own status codes as per your liking and as per the situation demands so even for a successful uh, api request you can use your own status code and if you want to raise any http exception you can do that as well as we saw in this particular get request so that's all for this video if you like this video and found it helpful let me know i am shaunak signing off thank you for your time bye